The name Broider Gold um, actually comes from a gold hoard known as the Broider Hoard that was discovered in 1896 on our farm by two ploughmen called James Morrow and Thomas Nicholl and they actually ploughed it up with a horse and plough. There's two folklore stories, one that tells the story where it was actually a gift to the gods where it was thrown over and there was a, a large chieftain to her at the time. The other story goes that it was actually left in a ditch and inside an umbrella and somebody was going to come back for it. The gold itself was a large collection. It was a boat, it was an oar, there was bowls, there was necklaces. It's now in the National Museum in Dublin. Our name itself comes from our townland known as Broider and also the gold being the oil. The scenery itself, we're very fortunate. Um, we're at the foot of Benevena. The mountain itself is gorgeous and everybody comes. They love it. We get a lot of tours from America. We do a lot from Sweden as well. And whenever they arrive, see the yellow fields, see the fields out in bloom. They love the background with Benevena in the background. And we were lucky about three years ago to be actually accepted into the Economy Muse Network, which means keeping a craft alive. We do the tours, they see what we're doing from start to finish and they can actually get the end product then of our rapeseed oil. And they just love having that connection from the land right through to the food that they're getting on their plate. The soil that we grow our crops in is quite unique to the whole of Ireland. Our soil is quite light, um, it's not heavy like other areas and it's all loam soil because it was reclaimed quite a number of years ago. So it makes it easy for Richard to farm or maybe I shouldn't say easy, he might not agree with me. <laughs>